Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 191, I believe, of the Decades Challenge. Uh, so we are obviously back living in this house. We moved here in the last episode, and I'm actually really happy to be out of the apartment. It was bittersweet trying to decide whether or not to leave that apartment, but I do think that this is better for literally the entire family because... The kids can play outside. We don't have any noisy neighbors. Uh, so Tyler is eating some chili, I think. And he's pretty tired, but I think I'm going to have him play um, for a little bit. Maybe I'll have um, Ashley go outside and play on the swings for a while. Michelle is, well, was watching TV. Uh, we got another job offer. That seems to happen a lot. Also, I really think the time is definitely coming where we have to decide what we want to do with the relationship with Hayden. He's currently at work. Oh, no, he's home now, I think. Yeah, he's finally home. But these two, their relationship has been so tumultuous for such a long time that I really don't see them being together for much longer. I think we all have seen this coming for a while. These two are not going to last. Their relationship is really bad right now. Um, if I click on their profile, it says saddened, festering grudge, and they also have a personal rift. Um, they still have a, a sliver of romantic interest there, but definitely not enough to um, to support their, their marriage. I don't think that it's I don't think it's gonna last. So I'm gonna have her go grab some food, and then these two definitely need to have some discussions. I kind of think that. I don't know. I think that Hayden has been holding on for this long because he wanted kids for such a long time for his whole life. And they came at a at a later age for him. I mean, he's obviously an elder. He's like almost halfway through the elder phase. So he really doesn't have a lot of time left. And I think he's just doing as much as he can to hang on to having his kids. Um, I'm going to get him to just sit here and confess to having woohoo. And we'll see what happens. She is horrified, but she's also a total hypocrite because this girl did the exact same thing to him. When these two um, were a little bit separated there for a while, she also cheated on him. So I don't know if she's... Oh, no. Yeah, no, it's gone. It's not good. And then he went on to insult her. Um, maybe we'll also do yell at and ask what Michelle's problem is. Although we should, I'm sure we already know what the the problem is. And I don't want to judge Michelle. Okay. Hey, this drama isn't my fault, at least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between us. Yeah, things are just getting much worse. Um, I don't know what judge Michelle means exactly, but I definitely think there's going to be some of that going on. And I don't want them to fight. I think that is, no, <laughs> that is just too far. We don't need uh, domestic violence. I think we're good. Taunt about university superiority. I mean, he could do that, but she's got a degree and he doesn't. So that would be pretty ballsy. Uh, oh, she is out of here. Rage fueled run. She wants to go on the treadmill. She is really pissed off at him. Uh, so she has uh, these moodlets here: aggravating conversation, feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Uh, you don't know everything from talking to INTJ personality. I don't know what that means exactly. Let me read into that a bit more. You may know more, but it doesn't mean you are better than me. Oh, that was from him. Yeah. And then also, uh, you did what? I can't believe it. From hearing woohoo confession, slipped to my fingers from people, person, lifestyle, uh, festering bitterness. She's just going through all the emotions right now. And for some reason, Hayden thinks he is entitled to sleep in their bed tonight, which I find really interesting. This guy is so sleeping on the couch. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, I'm going to have her go to bed too. And Tyler as well. And I do feel bad for the kids because they may not be around for all the arguing. They've certainly seen some of it. But it it's definitely, it can't be easy for them to be around. Um, so I'm going to have them both go to bed. And we'll, we'll address this in the morning. So far, uh, Michelle has not come clean about her affair. She also slept with Julian, uh, her college boyfriend while they were um, living in separate homes and I call it a separation it wasn't really like a legal separation it was more of 
a physical separation because she wanted to be with her dad in his final days, and Hayden couldn't understand that. So hopefully he'll, he'll stay on the couch. He's going to have a really terrible sleep. I don't think he's going to like this. I have to poop from upset stomach. Oh my god. Sometimes I just love the, the mods. They're so good. Now the cat is running away. Hayden needs a shower. Oh, things are rough. Things are really rough right now. And I don't know, like, when they divorce, I, what's going to happen? Like, I don't know where Hayden's going to go. Probably back to the city. Um, I could see them maybe having, like, shared custody of the kids, because I think Hayden really wants to be around for the kids. So maybe we'll kind of send the kids off now and then to go visit their dad. Um, but keep in mind, he won't be alive for much longer. I know that's a really sad thought, but it's also true. Okay, the kids need to go back to bed. I don't know why they woke up anyway. Oh, <sighs> Tyler woke up for the sole purpose of making a mess on the ground, and that was it. Um, Michelle, no, back to sleep. Everybody wants to wake up super early. You know what? Whatever. They're going to be up pretty soon anyway, so we'll turn on the lights. Hayden is... He's not doing good. He wants to have some fun. Maybe he could watch TV. Also, it says bed wetter from poor bladder control. Hayden has wet the bed while sleeping. Um, that might have to do with his age. I'm not sure. He didn't have to go to the washroom, so I don't know why he would have wet the bed. I'm going to get Michelle. No, don't ask anyone to help clean because that's just not going to go well. Um, Ashley can get up, go to the washroom. Tyler should maybe grab some breakfast. I think I'll get the kids to head out for the day and just do something other than be in this house because I think it's just going to be um, a pretty unpleasant environment today. Okay, she's, let's get Michelle to come downstairs. It's definitely time to act on this marriage. <laughs> that was his way of disrespecting her. That's that's my theory. Uh, let's maybe... Oh, I don't know what we could do. Shout forbidden words. See, you know, she doesn't have the option to confess to having Muhu as well. Uh, if it was here, I would definitely do that, but it's not on here anywhere. She could vent to him. I don't think he cares, to be perfectly honest. Um, criticize woohoo techniques? I mean, we could we could definitely do that. <laughs> Ashley, I think, should oh, grab some food out of the fridge if we have any. The cat's outside drinking from a puddle. Also, there's like so many messes all over the place that I really would like them to, to either clean up or just stop making. Um, let's jeer, maybe? She just walked away from this whole conversation. Imply mother is a llama. That's not cool. Don't, to disrespect Rebecca like that, that would be, um, a stretch. I was hoping that these two confessed to having Muhu. Yeah, see, he already did that. And for whatever reason, she does not have the same option. Although she should, because she definitely cheated on her husband. Um... Argue, shove forbidden words, give the cold shoulder, insult, yell at, throw a drink, shove. I don't want things to get physical. I don't believe in that. So we're just going to go right for the divorce. It's definitely time to end this marriage. She's just chatting with him. I don't want that. I don't know why he would be upset about that. I think mostly upset about the fact that their kids are uh, coming from a broken home now. So these two are officially divorced and beg forgiveness. That's never going to happen. These two will probably, um, they'll probably never fix things. I think I'm going to have her go watch some TV for a little bit while I figure out what to do with Hayden. Uh, obviously, he can't live here anymore. We're going to have to have him move out. Uh, what is this? If I could go back. Hayden is regretting some decisions they made throughout the years. That is extremely interesting. I don't know. Um, I do have trouble deciding, or not deciding, but I guess figuring out what, um, what moodlets come from a mod and which ones don't. But that one is really, really interesting that he's going... Um, through those emotions, if I could go back, and a relationship from breakup. I will just focus on the good memories. 
Um, aggravating conversation, depressed from getting divorced. The end of a marriage is a sad event in any Sim's life. So yeah, these two are officially divorced. She is going through the exact same things and a relationship divorced. Um, I think it's just a matter of like figuring out, I don't know what to do next. Maybe they should sit down with the kids and explain to the kids what's going on. Cody, my friend's kid birthday party is today. I was wondering if you could help us make it a blast. No, thank you. The timing is not great. Uh, let's go grab some leftovers. Also, it's a pretty nice day, so maybe I'll have the kids go play outside for a little bit. They obviously don't know what's going on in their parents' world, or does he? What is this? Oh, Tyler is really, really sick. Um, he's got a cough, a fever, stuffiness. Oh, he's got stumpy flu. Contagious from his cold. I forgot that Sims could get sick. Okay. Uh, maybe, what can we, do? what do we do to make him better? I think you have to buy medicine on the computer. Let's see if Michelle can go do that. Uh, household. I definitely thought there was a way to order medicine, but I could be wrong. Oh, there we go. Thanks for ordering. The medication should be in her, okay, it's in her inventory. Take medicine. Here, we'll put this in Tyler's inventory and hope that that helps. Oh, he can't have it. Okay, it's not for kids, apparently. I'm going to have him go um, go take a nap for a bit. This poor kid, the, his, his day is going to be pretty rough. If he's sick and now his parents have decided to divorce, it's going to be different. Uh, hey, babe, want to have a quick woohoo session? If not, we could just relax together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going for it. Um, newly divorced, and we all know that Michelle sort of operates on, um, I don't know, like emotional highs. Like she really doesn't think things through when she's feeling emotional. And I think that's how she ended up with, um, I'm sorry, ended up in bed with, uh, oh, what was his name? Julian, the same guy. I can never remember his name. I think that's how he ended up in his bed anyway. All right. Um, so let's go... Oh, we want to make sure that she's on birth control because that's like the very last thing we need right now. And then we'll go woohoo with uh, Julian. <laughs> oh, we can't. Michelle is too sad to do this. That's unfortunate. You know what? We could chat with him for a bit and maybe she'll come out of that. Offer gratitude to Julian. We could also ask him for advice. Um, I feel like at this point, she is kind of wishing she could go back in time and stay with Julian. And I almost wonder if he could possibly be more than just um, an ex-boyfriend. Like maybe, or I guess more than just a woohoo call too. I'm trying to make, mostly get her in a better mood, but I don't think that's going to happen. She's feeling really upset. Compliment outfit. Also, uh, what is this? You're truly messed from death of a family member. So now she's going back thinking about her parents, obviously. So she is really in an emotional state right now. Oh, I was really hoping that those other emotions would come through and they'd be able to woohoo, but she is too upset to woohoo. Give parenting tips? I guess. I mean, we might as well just do anything other than cry about the breakup. If there's any other thing we can do. I don't know. Ask for reassurance? I really wanted these two to woohoo, but she can't. become best friends. Uh, that might make her in a better mood, but I don't know for sure. I mean, her and Julian do have a really close relationship. I almost wonder if these two, I don't know, could be more. Oh, there we go. She's in a better mood now, but I don't think the birth control is in effect still. Hold on. Let me check. I, I want to be like a hundred percent sure. Uh, okay, there's two hours left, so we're definitely gonna go and woohoo with Julian. So I mean, she did come over here in a really terrible emotional state. She was feeling sad about not just her divorce, but also missing her parents. It seemed like I'm assuming that's who she was sad about. 
And now he has completely turned her mood around, which I find really interesting that he has the power to do that. So I'm going to have them woohoo, obviously. But their relationship also got a lot better, too, just from this one visit. And I'm starting to think that maybe Julian means more to her. Do you enjoy things that are going on between us? Yes, Michelle. <laughs> okay, that was really awkward. He's like, yes, um, thank you for checking up on that. Music lover. Okay, so we found out what his trait was. Their relationship is really, really good. And I know that this probably isn't the right move considering she just divorced her husband, but at least he's making her feel good. And I feel like nobody has done that in a very long time. I'm tempted to ask to be boyfriend, but I, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, it's really soon to come home and say she has a boyfriend. I think that that might be a bit much. Okay, so I'm gonna leave her here, basically. Um, and Actually, no, we'll actually go home, I think. There's really nothing else to do here. Let's end this, hanging out with lover. And we should definitely go home. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think about Julian and Michelle because before I thought there was no way. I mean, they broke up for a reason and they're, I don't know. I never, I didn't really think twice about with Julian, but now I'm seeing him differently and I could, I could definitely visualize these two possibly being together. All right. Time to move this guy out. I never really liked him anyway, so I don't feel sad about this, but... It's definitely time for him to go. He is also feeling uh, crybaby from being sad. He's been doing a lot of crying. Um, let's come over here and I guess we're gonna have to say goodbye to the kids, which is kind of depressing. I don't think this will be the last we see of him though. I definitely think we're going to see him um, coming over to say hi to the kids as often as he can. I'm trying to get him to hug the kids, there we go. I mean, that's a little depressing, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of sad. Uh, and then also Tyler as well. i got to say goodbye to him. I know I'm just so click happy. I apologize for that. See if the kids are going to be sad about this. I don't know if they will. Eden Sasaki is calling to chat. No, no thanks. Kind of busy. Okay, so we said our goodbyes. As depressing as that is, I'm going to have him move into new household. There we go. He's out of here. So I mean, he's still physically here, but he is no longer a member of this household. Um, and Tyler is still feeling sick. So I'm going to have him go back to bed. I thought that I could maybe give him some medicine, but apparently you have to be an adult for that to work. Uh, Michelle, I'm going to have her come home. Um, just in time to awkwardly say goodbye to Hayden. Sexy pose. No, I want him to leave. I don't know how to make him leave. Uh, I guess actually we can just go to MC Cheats makes him leave. There we go. Yeah, it's just him being here is just way too awkward. Uh, also going to post an alert about Rachel because she ran away. I think Michelle will also wait a while before um, she has Julian come over. If they ever want to woohoo, then we'll definitely make sure that uh, she goes to him. Maybe I'll have um, Ashley clean up that mess there. I mean, she's going to have to help out a bit because now we're down to one adult in this household. And the kids don't age up for another 10 days. So we have quite a while. What could we have Michelle do? Um, oh, we could step on this dust bunny and then maybe do some vacuuming. See, I don't know. Oh, I think he's feeling better. Nope. Uh, he is going to be sick for two days. I don't know what I could do to make him better. I thought maybe you could send your Sims to the hospital for that, but maybe not. Um, what can we do? Oh, you know what? Slice of life. I think under health, sickness medicine, get vaccine. I just noticed that these two have like actual dollar signs and this one has a simoleon. And they must have missed that. 
Uh, sickness medicine. This relieves your sim of their sicknesses and most of their symptoms. Okay, let's try that and see if it works. Oh, it's a candy. Uh, oh, now he is medicated, so he's probably feeling like a little bit dizzy. That's kind of funny. I'm going to have him take a bubble, bubble bath. Also, somebody pointed out that since um, Ashley is a goofball, that's why the toilet was that purple color. She had pranked it. So that makes sense. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on there. Okay, so now I think I will have Michelle go downstairs and make some food. Um, let's maybe clean this up. I don't know why there's a hair pile on the barbecue or on the table. Kind of gross. Have you been texting my babe? What does that even mean? No. Who? What? <laughs> what? That was her first boyfriend, Jeremy Addington, that just called. And I have no idea what he was on about. That did not make any sense. I wonder if he's feeling any better. I think he's just dazed from the medicine. I'm going to have him grab some food. Ashley can do her homework. Uh, what? Oh my god, he calls a lot. We can always revisit that too, but I am really intrigued by the relationship with Julian. If you look at this, they are very, very close. Um, their sim profile, deeply connected, adoring. Um, he's a foodie, romantic, and a music lover. And the romantic trait for me is kind of what does it because I think Michelle has always been missing that. Um, if you remember when she was a teen, she was infatuated with boys, always wanted a boyfriend. I think she had it built up in her head that she was just going to fall madly in love one day and have a, a, such a wonderful husband. And that really did not happen and it still hasn't happened for her. So maybe that could be, I don't know, maybe Julian could be that for her. Like the, I don't know, the, the romantic that she's been looking for. Uh, okay, so both the kids are good. I'm actually going to have Tyler go to sleep again. Actually, read under covers. Let's try that. I don't know if he's going to be... I think he's cured, but he's still dazed from the medicine. So he's not actually sick anymore. But he's just um, having some some of effects from the medicine that he took. And I actually don't know if you can send them to the hospital. I don't really know how that works. We could try, but I maybe it'll fix them faster. I don't know how that works because my sims never get sick. Oh, she's going to go cry in bed now. You know what? That's fair. Um, I'm going to let her do that because that's a reasonable reaction to what's going on in her life. We're going to vacuum again and then go to sleep. Both the kids are watching TV. Um, their relationship is not great. I mean, for twins, you'd probably expect them to be a little bit closer, but I mean, they don't hate each other, so that's good. So they're just staying up watching TV. I don't know. They don't seem to really have any effects, basically, from the divorce. I don't even know if they can talk about it. Asked is at hospital. Ashley will be able to do this once she ages up, okay? It looks like they can't really talk about thoughts. I guess we could do that. But it doesn't look like there's anything they can discuss related to their parents' divorce. So maybe that's a good thing. Happy birthday. Okay. Oh, oh, she got sick from him, I think. Yes, she did. Okay, I'm going to have her take some medicine too. Um, health, sickness, get treated at hospital. I'm going to try that. It says there's a 70% chance of getting cured. I'm going to have both the kids go to the doctor and see if they can get better. That might work faster than the medicine. I, I've never done this, so I'm mostly just doing this because I'm curious. The kids, it's 11 o'clock at night and they have gone to the hospital by themselves. Are they both getting cured or just... I think that he's like accompanying her at the doctor. I don't think he's getting treated though. But I could be wrong. Oh, that's a long visit. Okay, wow. I did not expect it to take that long. Uh, also, Rachel did come home, so that's nice. Okay, wow. I didn't know they'd be gone for hours. It's kind of weird. Um, oh, Michelle is going back to bed. She is like in such a emotional state that she doesn't even know where her kids are. Doesn't even seem to care. Go to sleep. Okay, that 
I, I've decided that it's not worth it. <laughs> Going to the hospital is not worth it. They've been gone for like almost three hours. Okay, he can go to bed and she can go to bed. See if they're any better. Um, dark circles, she is dehydrated, but it looks like neither of them... Well, he's still medicated, that's fine, but it looks like neither of them are sick. So that hospital trip did work. Um, yeah, just wanted to try that out and see what it did because I've never done it before. But I'm going to leave this episode right here. Um, everyone in this household needs to sleep anyway. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.